Acts 20 and verse 32. I have a couple of scriptures. I really want to touch them. And so let's try and get through these because I think the scriptures itself, it's, it speaks so clear unto us. And now, brethren, I command you to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. Here Paul is saying, I command you to what? The word of God. The word of His grace. And it is able to build you up. Last week I heard a message. Um, you know, it's, it's almost like milk, you know, when you have a newborn babe, you you feed that child with milk, and the intent is to nurture that child, to build that child up, to give that child strong bone, and, and so forth. The Word of God will do that for everyone that wish to study it. It will build us up. It will make us strong in spiritual things. As Paul is saying, it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance. There is an inheritance and the Word of God presents it to us. It, it, it points us to that inheritance. But we must wait for it. We must stay patient. We must stay on course. And that inheritance will be ours at the end. It makes one wise, the scriptures. Timothy, Paul to Timothy, he says, study to show thyself approved unto God, in 2 Timothy 3.15, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. That, these are things the scriptures are able to do for us. You know already, that the scriptures, they are given by the inspiration of God. You know that the things that we learn from the scriptures, it, it gives us, it points us to an inheritance, an eternal inheritance. Let us continue to study it. Let us continue to build ourselves up in it so that we're not ashamed when we step out there. We can step out with confidence. It must be taught diligently. That's God, God expects that from us. He expects us to teach it and to be diligent. This is how this is what he expected of Israel. Turn with me to Deuteronomy 6. And verse 6. Deuteronomy 6, verse 6. It says, These words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be like frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house, and on thy gates. God wants the word of God to be well embedded in us and in our children. First he said to Moses, keep it in your heart heart. He is the teacher of this, but he must keep it in his heart. We that profess and teach the Word of God must have it in our hearts, not just from our lips, not just the ability to speak it, but we must be able to live it. So God is saying, teach it diligently unto your children. You know, you got to see them practice it. When in your house, 
When you go out, you come in, you lined up. What does that mean, lined up? Well, you got to learn to pray together. You have to, it's a thing we have to practice. It is also teaching God's way. As we, we have to learn as a family to pray together. You know what, there's a song that says the family that prays always seems to stay together. Stay together. So you teach it diligently. You study together. I'm not saying, you know, you got to find time to do those things. With our busy schedule, we still have to find time to do that. Uh, this is what God expected of the children of Israel. And we have young children. So talking up with newborn babes, well, where's the best place to start? Yes, adults. We need to teach adults. But sometimes we have to go back to those things, remind ourselves. Teach our children. Nurture them. Up. So when they grow old, they do not depart from it. It must be kept unaltered. People are tailoring the word of God too much today. And we have to be careful with what we listen. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 2, this is what the Lord says concerning the command that he gave Moses. He says, Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that it may be kept the commandment, that ye may keep the commandment of the Lord your God which I command you. Do not diminish. There's too much altering taking place. It is too hard here, it's too rash there. We need to have a more standard Bible, a better Bible, a Bible easy to read, a Bible in our terms of, of today's time. It doesn't change God's way. Altering the Word of God to suit the times that we're living in will not alter God's decisions for man. He promises to bless us if we are obedient. That will never change. We can choose the other side, as did Eve, and suffer the consequences. That won't change either. But to alter the word of God, it is a great sin. 